along when suddenly I was hit from somewhere in my chest by a brick that somebody had thrown. I didn't see it coming. It just came from a crowd of people about 30 feet away and hit me in the chest and knocked me to the ground. I hadn't spoken to anybody, I hadn't said anything, and I was just attacked. And uh, fortunately for me, the, the police uh, managed to get the person, but I don't know if uh, anything's going to happen, follow on, I'll find out. But I'm very, very lucky that the brick hit me right here and could have, I've got a video of where the brick came from and it's, it clearly shows the brick coming from about 30 feet away being thrown by somebody who didn't see me they just threw this brick and didn't care who they hit and they hit me and uh, my chest is very painful but luckily I'm, I can talk about it because Okay, what is your uh, opinion about uh, Britain first uh, was very peaceful uh, uh, demonstration yeah. and Antifa was very aggressive. Yeah. Who was a fascist? The, yeah. no, <laughs> this the is... thing is, Britain first, which yeah. is this group here, is, is a political organization and I joined it because it's very peaceful, it's very... Uh, it's just made up of normal people who just care about what is happening to the, to the people in this country and there's very strict uh, rules about behavior. Nobody's allowed to do anything other than just march peacefully and, and not get uh, into any arguments with anybody. We just go and mind our own business, walk along and I mean, actually, this is my uh, first march, and the reason I came with Britain first is because the manifesto is one of peace, and um, we just want to help sort things out in this country that are just seemingly being left. Okay, my question is, uh, do you think uh, uh, this protest, could you something change for better or not? What is your opinion? I would really hope that people who see the protest and hear, because I missed the speeches because I had to go get treatment for my injury, but I would hope that people who hear what the group is about and what the protest is about would realize that they, they need to take things much more seriously and focus on the problems and, and try and sort things out. Okay, next question. What do you think about Jacek Miedler? Do you know this? Is, we speak uh, everything about Jacek Miedler. Uh, she was deported. Why? He Be was. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, this is a, supposed to be a, a democratic country. I live in the, the United Kingdom. And what is about free, free speech. speech? Free speech. You're supposed to have free speech, and it seems as though that people who don't agree with what the uh, politicians say about. Uh, anything that they don't agree with what the politicians are saying are not allowed to speak and this speaker who was supposed to come today is a priest from Poland and all he wants is to raise awareness and try to protect the people very very good people and I heard he was supposed to speak today but he got stopped at the airport and I found out since that he got deported and I think it's, it's disgusting Really For me, it's very disgusting too. It's not possible that uh, uh, that is so so happened. I know because I had a problem with British justice. My my case was until uh, Strasbourg uh, Employment Tribunal appeal employment uh, uh, after uh, High Court Stra uh, Strasbourg and uh, uh, case again uh, Trade Union GMB Trade Union, but. What, I, what happened, what I saw after, what happened, how big injustice in this country. Now I think this is my case was so, so small one. This is not possible that 1,400 uh, girls was raped but Muslim, uh, Muslim gangs in uh, Telford when we hear, hear today from Paul. This is, was about 12, uh, 20 years. This, this is terrible. Social service, social service. Uh, yeah. What they do, soldier service, they took uh, uh, 
they took children from from uh, British, from Polish. They they gave uh, they give uh, children to gay marriage. This partner, this is this is unbelievable. I mean, I don't, it, it's not actually just in this country that it's happening, it's happening in Europe. And the problem is, is that the governments are so afraid of uh, Islam that uh, they, just, they just rather turn a blind eye and uh, do this political correctness, which is a complete load of rubbish. I think and this is political correctness is the worst one. It's, I, I don't know what it means anymore. I really don't. It is lost it is. its whole meaning. And it seems as though now the, the good people are being portrayed.